Hey there, scientists. Quick walkthrough of your lesson, landforms and weather patterns. Your goal is that you can describe how winds and clouds in the atmosphere interact with landforms to determine patterns of weather. Specifically today, we're talking about rain shadows. So this background video right here will give you great information about what a rain shadow is, um, how you can see them when you look at a map, and a little bit of the structure of what makes a rain shadow a rain shadow. This video here gives you all of the instruction that you need from your text and then with an additional challenge here um, to learn more about rain shadows. This is totally optional. It's up to you. Uh, great information that you're going to want to follow through so you can see how this rain shadow operates. And then you have two activity pages this week. This first page of Wrap It Up, you have to contrast Describe the difference between the amount of rain that falls on the ocean side of a mountain range and the amount of rain that falls in a mountain range's rain shadow. So what's different there? And then apply Death Valley in California and Nevada is one of the driest places in North America. Death Valley is located east of the Sierra Nevada. Why is Death Valley so dry? Hint. The winds in this region blow east from the Pacific Ocean. So this will make sense once you have gone through the video and the instructions so you understand what a rain shadow is. On your next activity page, you are observing this rain shadow from the sky. So this is a satellite photo of a rain shadow near a mountain range in California. Drag the choices that best explain what is happening, where each blank is located on the photo. So in each of these blanks, you will need to be here in your edit mode and you'll drag each of these four identifiers as to what is happening from our ocean to our wind direction to our mountain range right here to our rain shadow over here. So which of these four matches each of these four boxes? And then if you're looking to go a little bit further, there are some additional videos here that talk about what a rain shadow is. Uh, this is an animation that to show you what a rain shadow would be like if you created it as a claymation animation. And then this is some other experiments that some students have done that you could replicate to build your own replica rain shadow. Um, this will take you to, these will take you to some external sites. This is a Quizlet quiz so you could practice what you know um, in a quiz format, and then this is a National Geographic site that gives you some additional pictures and video and information about rain shadows if you want to go even a step further in your knowledge. Because your goal by the end of this lesson is that you can describe how winds and clouds in the atmosphere interact with landforms to determine patterns of weather. Enjoy, scientists! <laughs>